You ever get into a debate with a person in a state of rage, in the midst of their anger? It's a complete exercise in futility. Powerful emotion of anger does a funny thing with our rational thought processes. It completely obliterates them. We think the most irrational thoughts, behave in the most irrational ways, and will say the most irrational things. Meanwhile, we of course think we're behaving normally, but from observing others in that state, we know complete irrational behavior. One of the almost guaranteed results of being in that state is that we'll make mistakes. Mistakes in judgment, mistakes in behavior, mistakes in interpretation of events. Rashi sums it up beautifully in a phrase in this week's parsha. Kevan as soon as a person enters the realm of anger, he enters into the realm of mistakes. It's such a natural consequence, says Rashi, it can affect even the greatest man who ever lived. Moshe Rabbeinu himself, says Rashi, three times gets angry in the Torah, and all three times it's immediately followed by a mistake. Sometimes a mistake in Jewish law, sometimes a mistake in behavior. But each mistake that we find Moshe making in the Torah is always preceded by an episode of anger. We as parents can dream of Moshe's accomplishment of only three episodes of anger over 40 years. Three episodes over 40 days would be a significant accomplishment for most of us. But the Torah wants us to learn from Moshe. And as much as we don't want that anger to ever creep into our life, we don't want to get angry at our children, it's sometimes almost an inevitable part of parenting. And Moshe teaches us when it happens, when we feel our bodies tensing up, we can sense the blood pressure rising, we feel the anger coming on, don't try to parent. We can't. We'll say irrational things. We'll give irrational consequences or irrational punishments and behave, interpret the events irrationally. And our children... Our spouses, who might not be in that same state that we are, will see it. They'll see irrational behavior, irrational thought processes. And they learn to disregard us. They learn to lose respect because of our behavior. We'll make mistakes. We won't interpret things correctly. We won't say things that make sense. It's okay, required, for a parent to be able to say, I'm too angry right now. I can't deal with this. Let me calm down, and I'll deal with it later. It will earn the respect of our children and save us from many unnecessary mistakes. Have a great Shabbos.